everyone and welcome to the video. My name's Ben and you're watching Bebo Astro. In this video, we're going to be using the 14 inch Dobsonian I've got behind me, which is an absolute beast of a telescope. It has a focal length of 1,650 millimeters and an F ratio of F 4.65. This means it's really good for a lot of targets for visual and astrophotography. But there's one target I've been requested to photograph and show you guys for a long time, the moon. So tonight we're going to be pointing the big Dobsonian at the big ball of light that lights up our sky and see some beautiful craters up close. I'm not entirely sure what camera setup I'm going to actually be using for this video because I want to capture some wider shots. While close up craters look amazing, I also want to get some wide views. So I'm going to experiment. I'm probably going to be using the ZWO 585MC and combine this with some Barlows and maybe even get some shots just casually with my phone. Let's see how tonight goes and hopefully some stunning views. This video is going to be nice and chill so you can just have a look at these craters and just relax with some Astro vibes. I hope you all enjoy this video. Let's get to it. So the 14 inch Dobsonian is collimated nicely and now we just need to wait for the clouds to clear so we can get star aligned and pointing at the beautiful moon up there. It's around a 60% moon tonight so we should be able to get some nice craters. So thankfully the clouds have now cleared and we've got a beautiful clear sky above us. I can see Jupiter, the moon, Venus and lots of stars. So let's get this telescope aligned and then pointing at the moon. Hopefully we'll get some beautiful views tonight. I may also capture Jupiter and have a quick look at it just to see how clear the bands are tonight because the air is coming in from the east which usually means I get some good seeing conditions. That's really critical for high resolution imaging and visual. So let's get it aligned and see how the moon looks through this telescope. If you're new here and also a fellow fan of astronomy and all things space, and if you're liking this video, please do hit the like button and consider subscribing if you're not already. So brace yourself, pointing at the moon with a big dob is like looking at car headlights. It's extremely bright, so you're going to want to use a filter or wear sunglasses. Let's go. Here we are. We've arrived at the moon. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my goodness. The clarity is amazing. The Terminator line is just filled with detail. And the craters. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to capture these and for you to see them. Incredible. I could look at this all day. Details are stunning. Terminator looks so clear and sharp. The lines on the moon and the craters. Cannot wait to view these up close. Let's put a high magnification eyepiece in and have a quick look. So I'm going to put my six millimeter eyepiece in that I like using. And this should look really amazing. Let's see how this looks through the six millimeter. Just got to focus it. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely surreal. This is like hovering above the moon in an aircraft or like a lunar lander. Through a big telescope you realise just how massive the moon is. It looks absolutely jaw-dropping. Oh my goodness. Wow. You really can see the texture on the moon. That's what's so staggering, like, you know the moon looks rough. When you see it up close with the Terminator line, you can see just how rugged and rocky the landscape actually is. The mountain range we are looking at formed around 3.9 billion years ago. It's around 600 kilometers long, and some of the peaks rise as high as five kilometers. The crater is 59 kilometers wide and has a depth of 3.6 kilometers. And here we have a wider shot of the very famous crater that is Plato. This absolutely stunning crater has a perfectly smooth floor, which makes it beautiful to look at. The dark floor of the crater of Plato makes it really different from a lot of other craters and was once dubbed the Great Black Lake due to thinking that it was filled with a body of water. It is amazing. Oh my goodness. Wow. Let's capture some of these features on the moon and capture them in some nice high-res detail. So as you can see from just the iPhone videos, the moon through this telescope looks absolutely stunning. And yeah, it's, it's what you would expect. It's a big Dobsonian, it can resolve a lot of detail, but now we're really gonna push the magnification to the test. I've put in the Teleview three times Barlow with extra spacing from an ADC, but I'm not actually using the ADC. I've got a 585 camera in here with an IR pass filter. All the equipment will be in the description below if you're interested in buying it yourself. So we're gonna push the magnification to the test. We're gonna capture some frames and then really see some close up detail of these craters. We've got a few clouds rolling in, but hopefully they hold off and we can get some amazing details on the moon. So let's get SharpCap fired up and start capturing some frames of these craters. So I'm just pointing at a crater on the moon. Um, I'm not quite sure which one it is. Unfortunately, I'm not very good with the lunar features and knowing exactly which every crater is. I do find it amazing that there are people who will just know where you're pointing because of a crater. But I'm absolutely mind blown at the, the image I'm seeing. It's just amazing. I've got a live view in sharp cap and I'll show you what I'm seeing on screen. The quality is absolutely fantastic. Using an IR pass filter really stabilizes the sky, but it also really helps pick out those finer details. With such a big aperture, an IR pass filter is really, really good. It lets in so much light that the IR pass filter still will allow enough light through and really get you some amazing details. We're gonna have a browse around the moon, capture some different sites and have them on screen and for you to all enjoy. So here is the crater region I was telling you about. This is a live view. This is actually uh, being previewed at I think about 20 frames a second. So 19 frames a second we're viewing this at and you can see it's really stable. The tracking on these Dobsonians is really robust. And while it does shake about a bit, you can see very slightly, it will still lock onto your target really well. This is the tracking on the 14 inch Dobsonian as well. I know a few people have been curious about this and yeah, as I say, it will lock on no problem. So yes, yeah, absolute beauty. Pointing at the moon up there. So yeah, let's capture some more frames and capture some more sights on the moon. So now I'm just capturing this beautiful crater up close. Um, it looks absolutely amazing see some faint surface detail as well. So let's see how this comes out.
you've seen my videos before, you will know I love looking through this telescope. But this night was just honestly the best I have probably ever had. These lunar craters up close were actually awesome. They left me awestruck. The feeling that I was an astronaut hovering above the moon will stick with me forever. And this experience was one of those that reminded me of why I love astronomy. So I'm sure we can agree those lunar views are nothing short of spectacular. As a deep sky imager, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with the moon due to washing out faint deep sky targets. But when you get to view the lunar craters up close through a big telescope, they are incredible. Viewing these craters is honestly better than capturing them. Viewing them with your eyes up close feels surreal and feels like you're on a lunar orbiter just looking down at the lunar surface. If you want to see more videos featuring this big 14 inch Dobsonian, click the link here and it will take you to a playlist with all the videos featuring it. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and the footage of the moon. If you like Think Space, do consider subscribing and hit the like button. It really helps the algorithm and let more people see these beautiful views. If you're interested in any of the equipment featured in this video, links will be in the description. And as always, thank you so much for watching. My name's Ben, you've been watching Bebo Astro, and remember to keep looking up. <laughs>